Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 101. Floor 101 will have you squaring off against Furious. And I want to note something. This is easily the hardest floor that we have done in the beginner's Abyss series thus far. It makes Floor 92 look like a cakewalk. To be fair, when I make these guides, I am using only Connection Heroes, 3 Star Heroes, and expert hunt heroes essentially things that every player has access to if you have specific five stars that i'll be showing on your screen throughout this video please use them it will make your life a lot easier if you have the specific five star artifacts that i point out for each character again please use them it will make your life significantly easier trying to do it the way that i did it requires a lot of luck rng patience whatever you want to call it or a ton of resources as you'll need really good gear and have most of the characters at level 60 six star awoken right you'll basically have to just start gear gapping the content it is a very difficult piece of content and unfortunately most of the best tools are all locked at higher rarities now let's explain what furious does driving force his passive here what this does is he deals more damage to non-green characters so if you could play a primarily green team that would be ideal. Additionally, you heal less health from non-green sources. So if you have Destina, I highly recommend playing that character, right? The more green characters you can play in your composition, the easier it will be for you. Additionally, he has this passive, Ford March. Oh man, what a doozy of a passive. This is really, really obnoxious. Essentially, you can't kill the adds that he spawns. He will resummon them if you kill them because of this passive. And when you hit him when he's under 70 or 40%, he will essentially buff his team with attack buff, speed buff, and put three undispellable skill nullifiers on his entire team. The only way to not get completely blown out from this point onwards is to use three consecutive AoE attacks or just use like a non-attack skill from a, a healer to pass the turn. But if you can't just go AoE, AoE, AoE to knock off the skill nullifiers, he's going to get a huge CR push, take the turn, and he's going to probably buff and push up all everyone else on his team, and they're all just going to kill you. So you have to go three AoE attacks. So having a bunch of AoEs on your team is pretty much mandatory for this fight. To make matters worse... You can't really play conventional DPS on this floor because of the first floor. Water-powered energy is what you will be fighting. You have to kill this thing in eight turns. Otherwise, Furious starts enraged on the next floor, and there's just no way you're ever going to live through that unless you have absolutely godlike gear. It's just not something a beginner will be able to do. Now, killing in eight turns seems pretty easy, right? Until you realize that this thing can't really take more than a certain amount of damage per turn cycle so you basically have to play perfectly in order to kill this thing in seven turns so that's just adding more rng onto the fight compared to what furious is already offering it's pretty bad if you look at the statistics for clears on this floor you will see that 84 percent of the player base has done this with curious because she's the only surprisingly reliable way to get off of floor one and actually still mount an offense against furious unless you just want to sit there all day please use curious for this fight if you don't want to use curious you could use specter tenebrea right that's pretty much it you're gonna have to play poison unless you want to suffer through this the really really difficult way let's talk about how we're building curious now try to get her to level 60 if you can as you can see i'm level 50 don't necessarily need to be level 60 but your life will be a lot easier if she is 60 because she will have more health more attack more stats overall to work with try to get her at 60 plus percent effectiveness get her as fast as possible as for the artifact i am using renan's memorandum because it helps speed her up it gives her more turns over the course of a fight you can use whatever you want here prophetic candlestick something like proof of valor so that that way she doesn't die easy you can use things like that Right? Those will all work just fine for you. Also important to note before I jump off of Curious here. She has an AoE attack in her kit in Corrosive Volley. 
So that counts as one of the three that we need to use consecutively. Now let's talk about Adventure Raz. Now, Raz is admittedly not the best tank for this because, well, he's red, we're fighting blue units, and he's not green, so he takes a boatload of extra damage. That said, Purifying Flame is a very good defensive skill. It's also an AoE attack, so that is going to be the second piece that we use here for this fight. Arius here on the artifact, health percentage necklace, health percentage ring. Boots are going to be speed, right? The stats don't really matter, just get speed here as this stat. Now, as for how we actually have him built, as tanky as you get him would be great. And if you could get like 85 to 100 effect resistance on him as a bonus, that would be awesome. Furious and his adds have some very debilitating debuffs throughout this fight, like target, defense break, unbuffable. Having Raz resist even one or two of those debuffs can be the deciding factor between victory and defeat. If you don't want to play Raz, there's a number of other knights that are out there that have AoE attacks. Most of them just, again, are at higher rarities. You could also potentially try Falcon or Clurry, but she doesn't have an AoE, so the rest of your team would have to have one, or you're going to have to rely on your Guardian, in this case Arky, because that can also function as an AoE attack. I caution against using Arky, though, because depending on Furious's health total, it could push him from the... 70% skill nullifier phase down into the 40% skill nullifier phase, re-triggering the entire scenario, and that's probably going to get you killed. So, just keep that in mind. Now let's talk about our healer. Destina, I think, is probably the best overall healer for this. I've tried Bernard, and I've got very close, but uh, I didn't want to invest too much in Bernard, and I couldn't really get the tempo or the amount of turns that I needed with a Bernard-based team. But I did get very close. So he is somebody you could use. I've chosen Montmorency for this over Tamarin. Because Tamarin, when you're in idle mode, you could get into these situations where you actually don't want to AoE, surprisingly. And it got me killed. So I decided not to. So for me, Montmorency was the go-to here. Because she has healing in her kit. And very quick turn cycling overall with her skills. Try to get Montmorency as fast as possible. Because... Since you have massively reduced healing on this floor, you need to take as many turns as you possibly can. I would highly recommend using Rod of Amaryllis as your artifact if you have it. Unfortunately, I don't have it on this account, so I am stuck using Magaraha's Tome. Right? And even then, you'll see in this fight, there are a number of close calls where I will most likely be about to die. And the only thing that saves me is if Montmorency just cuts. Like, she has to take a turn. Right, so this is going to be, again, cutting it pretty close. I have her at 6 stars, right? Level 60. As for boots here, speed. Ring is effect resistance. And our necklace here is health percentage. And then finally, we come to our flex spot. The MVP of the fight. Dollmaker Pearl Horizon. So, this is uh, an interesting one because... You would like to remove the attack and speed buff from Furious and his allies. Otherwise, the damage they deal gets to be a bit too much. Unfortunately, the best ways to deal with Furious and his adds are all five stars. Things like Isaria, Bessar, right? Dizzy, Einzel Gon. These are all things you could play in this spot, but they are all five star characters looking at characters that can actually reasonably dispel and slow down the pace of the match at low rarities, Dollmaker is your only option. There's not really anything else you can play. So you're going to need to have some of these higher rarity characters that I talked about or things like Angel of Light Angelica. If you don't have any of them, then you have to invest in Dollmaker Pearl Horizon. It's pretty much your only option. Artifact is Iella Violin, which you can get from the Hall of Trials shop. You can get Hall of Trials currency from clearing the Hunt Expert challenges. Each character that you clear gives you a ton of currency in order to buy stuff from the Hall of Trials shop. Buy Iella Violin. It is just a very good PvE artifact in general. 60% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy after attacking. This is super useful on a number of floors. Boots are going to be speed. Health percentage on my ring. And then the necklace can be whatever you want. As you can see, Dollmaker is clocking in 
at 244 speed. I built her as fast as I possibly could because she has a number of things in her kit that we're going to need uh, to be using constantly. S1 to blind to help reduce the damage that Ross is going to be taking. Sleeping and slowing the entire enemy team so that that way they don't... Uh, they don't just kind of completely wreck us, right? We can control the pace of the battle with Hypnosis. And then Endless Nightmare here is a stun, which we could use to basically wall off specific ultimates that are problematic for a turn. And it also has a chance of lowering the cooldown of Hypnosis. Yes, that is right. Please invest in the skill tree again for this character if you decide to play her. Especially this one. Chance to reduce Hypnosis, right? Any of these other ones, right? Speed down on Hypnosis. All the ones that affect Hypnosis, you really need to have or you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Again, I wish there was another character I could recommend over Dollmaker that is not a specific 5-star. I wish there was another character I could recommend besides Kyrus that wasn't a specific 5-star. But unfortunately, this is all we got. Again, use what you have. With that out of the way, let's get into the fight. All right, as we talked about, this floor is really, really annoying. You have to kill it in a certain number of turns. Kyrus is on full-time poison duty and extending those poisons. Roz and whoever other character on your team has the ability to strip. In this case, it's Dollmaker with the Yellow Violin. Their secondary role is to land either unbuffable or strip the Energia when it's under 50% health. Otherwise, the character should just be on full control duty, trying to make the adds take as little turns as possible. Or, if you don't have hard CC, landing on buffable on any one of these adds that has 50% or less health, so that, that way they don't get a barrier. Anyways, that's enough yapping. How about you take a little nap? I'm a bit sleepy. You Here can starts the poison train. I'm ready. Is, is it my turn? All right, let's do this. Go for a blind on Roz. This won't be an easy fight. I'm coming. I love this <laughs> You can see I do very little damage. I've kind of already hit the cap. We can extend durations here. I'll keep going. We could try with Montmorency to sleep one of these. Let's stun this so it doesn't summon another ad. I think you'll be my favorite. I'll protect you. In S3 here, just to mitigate some of the damage, even though it's about to get dispelled. I'm ready. Poison. All right, let's go for a blind here. I will do my best. All right, let's do this. I'll keep going, even if it's just a little. To remove silence from Dollmaker. Shall I make you Sleep. Combo here again with Curus. I'm ready. Is, is it Cleanse Roz. Should we get started? Go for blind here Take again. There you are. Will you play with me? Stun this so it doesn't summon an ad. I'll help you. Sleep this out with Montmorency. I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. Let's extend durations again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 35% damage from poisons. We don't actually have to hit this if we don't want to. But just to show you, to illustrate the point, if you hit it under 50%, it will get a barrier. Now, Yellow Violin on Dollmaker procs at the end of a turn. Right? So if we get lucky and get the 60% strip, you'll see the barrier proc and immediately go away. If, I must fight. if it doesn't, you have to use characters like Roz to try to get rid of it. I'll keep going. Try to sleep here. I'm ready. <laughs> Go for another strip. I was just thinking I didn't have enough <gasps> All right, let's do this. Here. Just a moment. I will do my best. It's going to be okay. So now we come to Furious. 
fight for Akira to the end. Shall I make you pretty? Let's try to slow everything at the start. I love that voice line. Let's start the poison up. Badly only one. Even though Raz is almost full on health, we want to make sure he stays as capped off as possible at all times. We're going to go for a blind on Furious here. That'll help mitigate the damage we take. I'll keep going. That must have been painful. Will you play with me? <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy. Go for more poisons. I will do my best. Let's try to go for uh, a sleep on this one without the slow. I love playing with dogs. Sleep this one. Or I should say blind it rather. Should we get started? Now we can just keep hitting Furious here. We want to save our AoEs. We want to keep that. There's kind of in reserve. I'm ready. Poison again. I'll help you. So let's go full heal Roz. That's more important. We need to keep Roz's life total high. Shall I make you pretty? Let's stun. This one. You're going to be my own little girl. Badly 15 is, percent in. Is it my up. Turn? Okay. All right, let's do this. Yeah. I'm a bit sleepy. I'll take care right. of this. Let's go for the combo here. Ah. All right. Forward. Now the next time we hit Furious. He will spawn three skill nullifiers. We cannot afford to hit him unless we have three consecutive AoEs, right? So we have volley here, here, and then here. So we do have our three AoEs. But the problem is that he has fatal bullet coming up. That's going to be a pain to deal with. You don't want him to be supercharged from skill nullifiers while still having to deal with fatal bullet. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for fatal bullet to pass by and try to strip some of these other ads or blind them if i must fight yeah. i will do my best even if it's just a little i really want to help i'm a bit sleepy but i can fight now watch how much damage comes out without the boss i'll keep going. a lot right Let's try. I was just thinking I didn't have enough dolls. Let's see. All right, I think we can we can get this started now. We're in a spot where we don't have to worry too much about what's coming up. So we can go here. Fight for to the end. And now we can go skill three as our first AoE. Can stop me. Volley is our second one. I'll help you. And then Arky here is our third. Power. Will you play with me? We can try to stun this. Come here. I think you'll be my favorite. <laughs> and now my plan is to right, essentially just wait out. His next fatal bullet. Let's try and see if we get a blind here. We'll go for the combo. This will knock him under. But then we just don't touch him. Let's go for a soul burn to full heal everyone. Right. See if we can get a blind. Fire. So now the next time we hit him, again, he's going to go for skill nullifiers. So let's look at our cooldowns. Two away. Have this. One away here. So we have to stall for Raz somehow. Let's try and go for a sleep on one of these ads. I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. Here is we somebody. We're going to try and strip the front one because he's the one that hits the hardest. Shall I make you pretty? Let's try and blind the front one because he's AoE. Got cleansed because of Furious passive. I will do my best. Steal up. 
careful. I'm ready. Just Here I go. go. I'll keep going. We're gonna soul burn here. And now we have to survive fatal bullet in a second. Let's try to stun this one. If I must fight. All right, so Bali is up, Hypnosis is up, Purifying Flame is up on his next turn. So let's have Roz proc it. Is is it my turn? I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. Knock off one skill. I'll help you. Arky to knock off the second one. And then Dollmaker. How about you take a little nap? And now all we have to do is survive and have Kira's combo him down. Should we get started? Son of light. Burn! Gotta blind this one. This will be the last one. I'm a bit sleepy, but I can fight. Roz might die here, but I still think we can pull through. I will do my best. It's going to Heal. be okay. I love playing. On the front one, because he's AoE. I think you'll be my favorite. Huh? I'm ready. Furious? Alright. We basically got this in the bag. All we have to do is just hold on for those poisons to expire. And there you go. Abyss Floor 101 in a nutshell. Like I said, there's a lot of RNG. And as you can see, Montmorency doesn't really have the healing capability that a green healer would have like Destina. So yeah, it's really difficult floor. Hopefully this guide was of some help to you. If you have any more questions, please ask them down in the comments below. And if you are someone else who has a different solution to help out new players, please post that down there as well post as many teams as possible. I think that this is going to be a major sticking point for a lot of players, but probably not as much of a sticking point as the next floor. In case you do not know, Abyss 102 is our next floor, and that is considered to be a major sticking point for many players, some players being stuck there for actual years. So get ready. It's going to be a tough one. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you in Abyss 102. Later now.